Hi everyone. Um, you might have seen several videos going around online called Oscillo Fun, where it shows a song that when its left and right channels are fed into the XY coordinates of a oscilloscope, produces dancing patterns like the one that you see on the screen. While this is not certainly the first of its kind, but what I think is surprising about this song is that it actually sounds good when played on speakers. So most videos online show it being played on conventional analog oscilloscopes. But what I really wanted to do is to see if I could get this to work on a digital scope, specifically like the Rigol that I currently use. And these digital oscilloscopes are usually limited in terms of their waveform update rate. So right now let's go through the steps to see if I can get this display to work on my Rigol digital oscilloscope. Okay, so as you can see right now, in the output audio jack of my laptop, I have connected one end to the speaker and the other end to an audio cable, which I'll connect my oscilloscope probes to. So this is the other end of my stereo cable where I have connected two of my oscilloscope probes to the audio jack and we'll see if we can get this to work. Alright, so now we can see in the first channel I've connected to the left channel of my stereo input and for channel 2, that's connected to the other channel of the stereo jack. So right now I'm using the Rigol DS1074Z, which is a great oscilloscope. And it has, let's see, 70 MHz bandwidth, uh, 1 giggle samples per second, and a waveform update rate of 30,000 waveform updates per second. So right now I'll go ahead and play the song and let's see if we can see any signals and there we go so right now the oscilloscope is in voltage time mode and that's a standard mode and you can see the waveforms but this is not very useful what we really want to do is to convert it into a XY mode so let's see if we can do that so in XY mode, the oscilloscope will change the two channels from voltage time display to a voltage voltage display mode. And this mode is usually used for measuring phase deviation between two signals with the same frequency. So let's see, we can go to menu, time base, and XY. And there we have it. Now we have both signals and right now there's no signal going on that's why you can see there's just a dot over there now let's go ahead and turn on all right so now we're getting something but looks like our time base needs to be tweaked a little bit hey there we go so we're getting some, we're getting a little picture in the bottom, but the resolution is a bit, the waveform update is really slow, so I suspect this has got to do with the number of samples that we're getting per second. So what we should do is to change a query, memory depth, that's it, and let's change it to the smallest one. There, we have much higher fidelity right now. Let's adjust the voltage scale just make the picture a little bit bigger mm, I think about 35 millivolts per division should be good mm, there we have it so it works on a digital oscilloscope, not bad. Now let me restart the video and let me restart the song and we'll see the entire thing played back in full.
And that was a success, oscillophone on a digital oscilloscope.